In this video, I'm going to show you how you can have a custom bot name with Streamlabs CloudPod. My name is Tree and I make streaming support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8pm Central European time on twitch.tv slash Tree. So to make this work, what you need to do is go to twitch.tv and make a new account. So not your streamer account, but just create a whole new account. The name for this account should be the name you want your bot to have. So for me, that was Treebot. Treebot is an actual person on Twitch. It's just another Twitch account. So you need to do that for your bot. The next thing we want to do is go to streamlabs.com and log in with your normal Twitch account, your streamer Twitch account. Little note here is that for this to work, you need Streamlabs Prime. I'll leave a link underneath the description where you can get a Streamlabs Prime subscription. Now here on the left, we go to CloudBot. It's under the feature tab. And then we see name right here. It has this Prime icon, which means that it's only available for people with Streamlabs Prime. What we do now is after we created our bot account, we click on, click here to add. Like you see here, we run into a little problem and that is it's recognizing my streamer account. What we do is we cancel it, unless you want your streamer account to be the account that the bot is actually called like. So what we want to do now is go to Twitch and log into our bot account. So log out on your streamer account and log in in your bot account. What we do now is we go back to Streamlabs and click on click here to add. Now what we see is our bot, so it says Treebot here, and we authorize this. Boom! It should change now and it says Treebot. If you're trying this out and it's not working for you, you need to open the alert box. You can do this by going to open alert box and then launch. And this is your alert box. This will be okay. You can minimize this as you want. What you can also do is you can copy this link of your alert box where the events like followers and subscriptions pop up and put it in your OBS. If your OBS is open while well, the alert box is somewhere in your OBS, you're fine too. This, this counts. The other thing you might still need to do is log back into your streamer account. There we go, we're logged into our actual account and then we go to our chat. So just click on channel and then uh, here click on chat. What we do now is do slash mod stream labs. This makes sure that the bot can do a lot more in your channel. And if you had troubles with the bot not being named after your bot account, then you might need to do this. I hope it was clear for you guys. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. What I also want to know is what is your favorite Streamlabs feature? I have a lot more tutorials about Streamlabs, so just hop into this playlist with me and I will see you there.